What's up guys, I'm Harsha from the top percentile and in today's video I'll be going over my strategy to attempt cons in your CET. So today I'll be strictly speaking on the cons part of the QADI section. The DI section will be covered in another video so do check that out too. So let's start by understanding what kind of questions you may encounter in the QA part of the QADI section. So this is based on last year's analysis, alright? So first of all we have 5 questions on number series. Then we have around 5 questions on simplification or approximations. Then you will have around 10 questions on data comparisons out of which 5 will be quadratic comparisons and 5 will be other quantitative aptitude comparisons. So basically the topics that we cover in QA. And then there will be 12 questions which will be word problems. Word problems would basically mean arithmetics or uh, your geometry or modern math and things like that. And to top it up there will be 18 questions of DI and that's how your entire QA section is you know. But that's how it is formed. So let's, let's focus on the QA part now. My first advice would be that you start with one of these three type of questions. Simplifications or uh, comparisons or number series. You know why? Because these questions are not going to be that difficult and they'll be easily solvable under 40 seconds to 1 minute. So let's say when you start seeing the quant section, the first three questions are from, uh, are from word problems. So you're not going to solve that right now. You'll come back to them later. The fourth question, let's say, is a simplification question. Solve it right over there. Try to finish it under 40 seconds or 1 minute. Go to the next question. Then if there are more simplification questions, get over with it. Uh, go to the comparisons. Do all those comparisons under 40 seconds to 1 minute. Then comes number series. Now number series is a bit tricky because you know if you don't understand the pattern, then you might just spend the entire day and still not get the answer. So my advice would be that when looking at number series, give around 15 seconds at max. If you get the answer, if you get the pattern or if you have a hint of the pattern, only then spend more time on it. Otherwise, just skip it. It's fine. Because there will be some other easy question that you will find in the rest of the paper. Now, once you have covered up these three sections, which are simplifications, comparisons and number series, then we can move on to other things. Now, what you will be left with is only the word problems. Now, out of these word problems, my advice would be to first of all, solve only the easier ones. The ones that you are comfortable with, the ones that look to be smaller or you understand how to approach that question within 5 or 10 seconds of reading the entire question. If you do that, I'm sure that you'll save a lot of time by not solving the difficult questions because anyways, the difficult questions is what you have to skip. So once you have solved the easy questions, then go to the medium ones and skip the difficult ones. We don't want to spend more than 1 minute 20 seconds on any single question in the entire paper of our CET. So if you follow this kind of a strategy where you are first solving simplification, comparison and the number series and then looking at the easier word problems, then I'm sure that cons will not be as difficult as it is sounding to you right now. You know why I'm saying that? Because simplification is just based on calculations. Calculation everyone knows, everyone has done them since they were a child. Then the next thing is quadratic comparisons. Quadratic comparisons are probably most easiest in the entire paper. We have made a beautiful video explaining how to solve such quadratic comparisons very easily in our course. So if you haven't accessed it yet, then do reach out to us for it. And then comes number series. Number series again, there'll be two to three simple questions in which, uh, you know, there'll be just addition, there'll be just subtraction or just multiplication. And the entire series will be based on that. If you identify these questions and solve them correctly, your marks will definitely be guaranteed. After that, move on to the easy question of cons and then the medium, skip the difficult ones. Once you're done with this, you can move on to DI and solve the easier sets over there. Also check out our video on how to strategize an attempt for the DI section. And I really hope that QADI section entirely goes fantastic for all of you. So that will be all for this video. Keep hustling and see you in the next one.